So now this video I thought we would do a, a little experiment to get people a little more familiar with diodes. Those completely new to electronics, most specifically the light emitting diode right there. So we're not going to use the uh, resistor or other circuitry to protect the LEDs in this case. We're just going to take a, a power supply here where we can adjust the voltage and the maximum current. So now the voltage is low enough, it won't damage the uh, LEDs and it won't produce enough current to damage the LEDs and we also have a rectifier diode up there. The kit that I got the LEDs from has the forward voltage listed on there. These are magnetic which causes a little problem in this video but in any case the uh, red LED is going to start lighting up somewhere about 1.8 volts. As current goes up it can build up about 2.2 volts across it. The blue LED needs uh, more voltage as you can see there uh, 2.8 to 3.2 that it says onto there. Rectifier diodes, these are uh, silicone, they basically only need about uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts before they start conducting. There's a gray band right there. The uh, gray band is the cathode, I know it's not showing up on camera, and uh, when it comes to the light emitting diodes, the shorter lead is the cathode that's also flat on the edge right there may not be able to tell and we got the shorter lead I already bent there longer lead is the anode right there the anode needs to be more positive than the cathode for it to conduct current so now we come to the uh, power supply there I have the uh, negative side of the power supply clipped to the shorter lead the cathode the positive side of the power supply clipped to the longer lead the anode of the LED Power supply voltage is as low as it can go, output is on right now, and we have current limited to 0 0.02 amps, which is the same as 20 milliamps, the most current that uh, you should put through these. So, we already saw that uh, the voltage is somewhere about 1.8 volts before it'll start conducting forward biased right there. So we got uh, 1.7, and it uh, looks like we got a slight glow at uh, 1.7 for this one. We'll go up to uh, 1.8, and now we have... Uh, more glow right there. I'll turn the light back on so you can see display there. But uh, you really can't see the glow with the the light on. Uh, you can more that way. So 1.9 and 2 volts. So now we're up to uh, about 10 milliamps approximately going through there. 2 volts. The current is limited to uh, 20 milliamps. If I go to uh, 2.1 volts, we already hit that uh, 20 milliamps. 2.1 volts will put more than 20 milliamps to it so it's limiting the current right there that's what that means constant current it's providing amount of uh, current that's how we're protecting it in this video instead of a uh, resistor so you can see the voltage is being limited to 2.3 volts right there so it does have some current limiting capabilities but not much it's easy to uh, overcome it uh, very quickly with a little voltage now let's swap it out with the blue LED so here we got the blue LED again, the long lead, the anode, the red alligator clip positive, the short lead, the cathode. Right there we got the black alligator clip negative. There is no light coming off it at all. As we saw on the box, we're probably going to need about 2.8 volts. So let's get that set up over there and raise it. So let's 2.6. So blue LEDs are naturally brighter. It's going to show up with less current you're gonna see the uh, display right there there we go so we got less than one milliamp of current it's already uh, producing a bit of light so the blue and the green the cooler color LEDs they uh, just produce more light even at lower currents we're not even at one milliamp yet so we got that 2.8 volts and uh, 2.9 now we got a little bit more current so it takes more voltage right there but uh, less current produces more light so they're more efficient so we didn't hit that uh, 20 uh, milliamps yet. We can get to 3.3 uh, three, uh, 3 right there before we uh, hit the uh, current limit of 20 milliamps. So now, that is forward bias, as I said before. Since it is a diode, if you wire them backwards right there, and uh, if the LED doesn't turn on, maybe the output is off. That may be one problem, but the other problem Maybe my depth perception's off. I was looking through the uh, camera right there. There we go. We got our clip. Maybe because it's reverse bias. So it's applying 3.3 volts, but now it's backwards. So it's in the direction that it naturally blocks current. So now that brings us to the rectifier diode. And 
we have a gray band there now you can finally see it that's the cathode we got more negative and uh, the red alligator clip positive to the anode and we're down to 0.3 volts because we're only going to need somewhere about 0.6 volts before current starts uh, flowing through so it doesn't light up you can't see that but now you can see we got about 10 milliamps of current going through at uh, 0.7 volts and uh, we go to a 0.8 it conducted so easily that the short circuit protection of the power supply kicked in right there otherwise current would be limited to uh, 20 milliamps and uh, so this is much better uh, the rectifier diode for protecting a uh, circuitry because it doesn't drop as much voltage and then also we can uh, reverse bias it with a lot more voltage than the LEDs so these are rated these particular ones the uh, 1N4001 for up to uh, 50 volts reverse bias so let's uh, just go right to the tens right there and uh, turn the uh, power supply output back on that's very important and uh, so now we go 10 20 30 and uh, looks like 30 volts is the limit for this power supply the output's still on it's not passing current right there no current is flowing it's blocking the full 30 volts so now really quick even though we have current limited these LEDs are uh, really sensitive so what I'm gonna do is uh, let's uh, try bump this up to uh, 3 volts and you can see we got lit up current is still limited the uh, voltage at the output is holding down as we saw before but now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the output off so the LED goes off and now I'll turn it on and uh, actually the LED did okay this time I burnt out a couple LEDs turning it on suddenly it fried so you got to use a uh, resistor to uh, protect it I'm surprised it did that good let's go to 4 volts but we have the current limited there we go so I hit the button it fried it it short circuited the power supply too uh, briefly and uh, so now it's passing current it's a short circuit but it's not lighting up because we fried it it's very easy to fry these always use a resistor and also if uh, we reverse bias it like if I took the uh, blue LED put positive to the short lead cathode and uh, the uh, negative to the long lead the anode and I go above I believe it's somewhere about 12 volts or something that will fry it it won't light up anymore so just be aware of that but in any case I'm gonna set uh, this to 5 volts that's what I normally have it at and keep it limited to a uh, 20 milliamps to protect LEDs in circuitry in case I miswire something hopefully protect it as we saw we can fry the uh, red LED if we do something wrong but in any case hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video